Looking at these short clips of Kid Galahad being the taller fighter, Barry wants to keep this fight at range and not allow Kiko to come in close. How is he doing this? By using the jab and the straight right. These two straight punches are the punches that Barry should have been utilizing throughout this fight and not allow himself to come in close with Kiko Martinez. When Galahad was moving back, he was not moving his head nor was his guard up. This allowed Kiko Martinez to land these vicious punches. Barry should move his head and you should never move back in a straight line. Knowing that Galahad's guard was low, Kiko Martinez tried landing the overhand right by hitting him in the body first and then going towards the head. This was confusing Kid Galahad. In this clip, look at Kid Galahad's right glove. It shows that he tried to parry Kiko Martinez's overhand right with his right glove, leaving the right side of his face exposed. Also, that arrow shows you to pay close attention to his left glove now. You can see a circle which shows that he slightly lowered his left hand as Martinez was loading up the punch. This allowed Martinez to land that overhand right which knocked Kid Galahad out. Kiko Martinez closes the distance and lands another overhand. That big circle shows the area that Kid Galahad left exposed. That little circle shows where Barry had his right glove. It was towards Kiko Martinez's face and it wasn't towards his own face, which meant that he was left unprotected and he got caught again with another right hand.